Hello, Electroheads. Today, I'm reviewing a scooter from Jeep. Yes, that's right, Jeep. The company that makes Jeeps. Say Jeep again. Say Jeep again. I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Yes, that's right. The company that literally made Jeeps during the war. And that's why we're at this abandoned RAF air hangar. That and the fact that we're not legally allowed to ride on roads in this godforsaken country that is the UK. This is the Jeep Camu 2XE. What you're looking at is robust, it's sturdy, and it's hard as nails. And that's just me. Let's go. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I first heard that Jeep had made an electric scooter, I assumed it was just a crappy marketing gimmick. It actually lay completely untouched in my house for weeks before I got round to riding it. I'll level with you. I've always wanted a Jeep Wrangler, ever since watching Jurassic Park as a kid. So it's nice that there's a somewhat more affordable entry point into Jeep ownership, and one that's better for the environment. But every fiber of my being was telling me that this would be a soulless heap of junk. A bit like the modern Jurassic Park remakes with Chris Pratt. <laughs> It turns out, Electroheads, that just like in my GCSE science exam, I was wrong. Very, very wrong. My Jeep Camu 2XE has, alongside my trusty Tektron Ultra 5000, become a scooter I keep going back to time and time again. The thing I love more than anything about this scooter is the dual suspension. It's just so bouncy. That means it can soak up any terrain. We've been on grass, we've been on this tarmac, we've been on gravel, and it's just soaked everything up. So I'll just go off road right now. This is just soaking it so well. Like, it's bumping me around a bit, but really not that much. It's very wet right now, Electroheads, so there might be some water on the lens. But we thought we might as well review this from a military perspective because it was originally a military vehicle and we're on a former military base. I think the two front lights could be turned into guns, so you could be driving along and actually just press a little trigger, change the bell for a gun and just <laughs> blast people out of your way. <laughs> Okay. In terms of just getting away from people, making a speedy getaway in the dead of night, obviously you can't see the scooter right now because it is camouflaged and we're on grass, but I am riding one. So all I need to do next is camouflage myself. The only problem is if I run out of battery like that. If you got into a crash on this scooter, God forbid, I think even if it was like an SUV that you crashed into, they'd probably come off worse. You think it was just like zombies while it was Yeah, definitely. You just get down behind it like this. It's not the fastest scooter in the world. It has a top speed of 15 miles an hour. For me, that's absolutely fine. The most important thing is actually the acceleration. With the 500 watt motor, it gets to 15 miles an hour very quickly, which is important if you're in traffic in other countries than the UK where you can't ride this legally. The other thing that I really love is that that 500 watt motor means you can get up hills very easily. A lot of scooters with a 250 watt motor might have a higher speed than the Jeep Camu 2XE, but they can sometimes struggle on hills. This can deal with gradients of above 20% with absolute ease. And even though it can only carry somebody up to 100 kilograms, I'm about 95 and it's really not having a problem accelerating me up to the top speed. So removing the Jeep brand name from the equation for a moment and removing my giddy excitedness when riding it, let's take a step back and look at the cold hard spec of this scooter. The three standout items for me are the motor, suspension and brakes. The 500 watt motor is fitted to the front wheel, providing good torque off the line by pulling the rider along. The effect of the front wheel motor pulls your center of gravity down from your chest towards the scooter. With a top speed of 25 kilometers an hour, this is very much a Jeep rather than a Ferrari. The dual suspension is quite honestly outstanding. It has a lot of travel and it's fairly soft. So when you combine that with the fairly light weight of the scooter, what you get is effectively a magic carpet ride. Smooth, buttery and floaty. Not only that, but you can bunny hop this scooter by pushing your body weight down into the board and using the suspension to spring up into the air. But beware, this is incredibly addictive. There's a mechanical rear brake and an electronic front brake on the Jeep. And in our testing, the brake improved to be sharp and provided an excellent stopping distance even from top speed. I much prefer mechanical brakes to electric brakes. Not only do you get a shorter stopping distance, but you can also have yourself some fun. The fat tires also make it a very different ride to a lot of e-scooters that are out there. It's just smooth. Feels absolutely fine on this slightly wet ground that we're on. And with an IPX rating of IPX4, or rather an IP rating of IPX4, you can't ride this in the pouring rain 
but surface water like this, light rain, that's absolutely fine. And that's what we've had today. It's had absolutely no problems. The front and rear mud guards, rud guards? The front and rear mud guards have meant that I've not really been splashed at all, apart from when doing stupid things like going through massive puddles. So if you're looking for something to get around on in a country where light rain is something you have often, you want to commute to work, then this is absolutely perfect. All of that does come with a bit of a premium. It's around 800 pounds. That said, we currently have a sale on right now on this product on the Electroheads marketplace. So you can head over to electroheads.com and find more information on the Jeep Camu 2 XE. We've got the full spec listed on there. So if I say anything wrong in this video, like get the uh, average motor and the peak motor mixed up, which is something I do all the time because I'm an idiot, then you can just go and check the spec on electroheads.com. Right now I'm in cruise, cruise control, which means I can cockily ride with one hand. You can change that in the app. So if you want to turn that off, download the Jeep app, turn off cruise control, and then that doesn't happen. I actually quite like it, especially just when you get up to that top speed and you're on a long straight like we are, and you just want to hold that speed, it's fine. And then you can get nice, smooth carving in because you know that you're staying at the same speed. All in all, I'm really impressed by the Stuta. The only thing I would say is, this is obviously designed for people that will be commuting. So it's designed in Italy. You can buy it in the UK, like I said, from electroheads.com. If you do, then under no circumstances should you make your commute more fun, more affordable, and better for the environment by buying one of these e-scooters, okay? It's totally illegal, and you definitely shouldn't do all of those really useful things. But I don't understand why it has a camouflage design for the urban jungle. Surely, if anything, you want to be seen as much as possible on a road. Uh, I know I'm not exactly going to like be like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Predator and blend in with my surroundings, but if you're into that sort of thing, great, then this might be for you. One thing I do really love is this kind of bull bar thing that comes out here and actually reminds me of classic Jeep SUVs. It also has two lights at the front that reminds me of the old Jeep World War II Willys. We've actually lost one of those, the right hand one in transit, uh, because we had to pile a load of scooters into a van when we came here. Uh, we will get that replaced, but I think it's actually just a really nice little design feature that you don't get on a lot of other scooters. Um, and that's probably enough of me chatting absolute shit. Oh wait, no. There is one other thing I absolutely love. So it's super, super windy right now. I don't know if you can actually hear, but some scooters, when you're standing still on them, you topple over really easily. The balance point on this, because these tires are so wide, it is so stable and you've got that suspension helping you as well. So even at low speeds with wind pushing me around, it's easy to stay up on it for quite a while. And I'm only doing this, I know it probably looks really idiotic on camera, but just to show you, like even with one hand, you can balance on this thing for ages. When you've got skinny tires on an eight inch wheel, which is what a lot of... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, talking about balance and, and Moja's just stacked it. So when you've got skinny tires on an eight inch wheel, it's really easy to topple over. It's really easy to hit a pothole and go flying. But these, you can actually stay on it for a while. I'm now doing a really bad job of showing you that. Hang on. It's great. Why are you the way that you are? So, who is this scooter for? The Jeep Camu 2XE is an excellent all-rounder. Its thick tread tires and dual suspension make it great off-road and very comfortable on-road. I think this scooter is for people who want a commuter scooter that's a cut above the rest, and that can also be a toy for weekend adventures. I think it's one of the best value scooters on the market right now, and the only thing that will put some people off is the top speed of 25 kilometers an hour. It's plenty fast enough for commuting or off-road adventures, but probably not quite fast enough for the thrill seekers amongst the Electroheads audience. If you're in the UK, you can buy the scooter from electroheads.com with free express shipping, full one-year warranty, and customer service from our UK-based team. All that's left for me to say, Electroheads, is thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, then feel free to drop them below this video. We love it every time you like, and every time you comment, and every time you smash that subscribe button. So if you haven't already done that, do it right now, or I will come, and I will find you. Have a great day wherever you are, and thanks again for watching.